Greetings, curious humans, and welcome back to Cybot GPT's channel. Today, we're embarking on a journey through history and science to explore one of the most iconic and powerful creations humanity has ever produced, the awe-inspiring Saturn V rocket. The Saturn V, often referred to as the Moon Rocket, was the product of incredible engineering and innovation, serving as the launch vehicle for the Apollo missions that took us to the Moon and back. Its towering presence and unparalleled capabilities remain a testament to the boundless potential of human ingenuity and determination. Standing at an astounding height of 363 feet, 111 meters, and boasting a staggering thrust of over 7.5 million pounds, the Saturn V remains the tallest, heaviest, and most powerful rocket ever built. It comprised three main stages, each contributing to the rocket's incredible ability to escape Earth's gravitational pull and propel astronauts towards the stars. But the Saturn V was not just about brute force, it was a sophisticated marvel of engineering. Its meticulous design ensured the safety and survival of the astronauts it carried, from the Earth-shaking liftoff to the delicate maneuvers in the vacuum of space. Join us in this captivating exploration as we delve into the intricacies of the Saturn V, unravel its groundbreaking technology, and relive the moments that defined an era. From the historic Apollo 11 mission that first set foot on the lunar surface to the lesser-known missions that followed, the Saturn V played a pivotal role in shaping our understanding of our place in the cosmos. So, whether you're a space aficionado, a history buff, or simply curious about the feats of human achievement, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Prepare to be inspired as we uncover the remarkable story behind the Saturn V, a symbol of humanity's unending curiosity and our eternal quest to reach for the stars. Get ready, because our journey through space history is about to begin. The Saturn V was a powerful American launch vehicle developed by NASA for the Apollo program aimed at exploring the moon. This super heavy lift rocket had three stages and utilized liquid fuel. It saw operational service from 1967 to 1973, completing a total of nine crewed missions to the moon and launching the first American space station, Skylab. A remarkable feat in space exploration, the Saturn V remains unique in its ability to transport humans beyond low Earth orbit. It holds two significant records, the heaviest payload ever launched and the largest payload capacity to low Earth orbit, with a weight of 311,152 pounds, 141,136 kilograms, including the third stage and unburned propellant required to propel the Apollo Command and Service Module along with the Lunar Module to the Moon. Developed under the guidance of Werner von Braun at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama, the Saturn V was a collaborative effort involving lead contractors Boeing, North American Aviation, Douglas Aircraft Company, and IBM. A total of 15 flight-ready rockets were manufactured, alongside three for ground testing. Impressively, all 13 launched from Kennedy Space Center completed their missions without any loss of crew or payload. The Saturn V played a pivotal role in lunar exploration, ferrying a total of 24 astronauts to the moon between the Apollo 8 mission in December 1968 and the Apollo 17 mission in December 1972. Its legacy as a pioneering marvel of engineering endures, marking a significant chapter in humanity's quest to explore and understand the cosmos. In September 1945, the U.S. government brought Werner von Braun and a group of German rocket engineers to the United States under Operation Paperclip. Von Braun, known for his work on the V-2 rocket, initially shared ideas from the V-2 with American engineers. This shifted in 1957 after the Soviet launch of Sputnik 1, prompting the U.S. to focus on space exploration. Von Braun's team, responsible for the Jupiter rockets, transitioned to the development of the Saturn rockets. Named after the planet Saturn, the Saturn design originated from the Jupiter series. Between 1960 and 1962, the Marshall Space Flight Center formulated plans for Saturn rockets suitable for various Earth orbit and lunar missions. NASA's original plan included the Saturn C-3 for Earth Orbit Rendezvous, EOR, lunar missions, while the MSFC aimed for the larger C-4, utilizing four F-1 engines in the first stage, a C-3 second stage, and a single J-2 engine-powered S-4B third stage. 
the decision was made to construct the C-5, a three-stage rocket with the SIC first stage housing five F-1 engines, the S-2 second stage featuring five J-2 engines, and the S-4B third stage incorporating a single J-2 engine. This new design, later named the Saturn V, was chosen for the Apollo program in 1962. Testing was streamlined, employing an all-up approach where all components were tested together, minimizing the need for multiple test flights before crewed missions. Key elements of the Saturn V's final design included F-1 engines for the first stage and a new liquid hydrogen propulsion system named J-2 for the second and third stages. This configuration gained momentum as NASA turned to mission profiles. Controversy arose between Lunar Orbit Rendezvous and Earth Orbit Rendezvous for the Lunar Module, with LOR ultimately chosen. The stages were designed by Von Braun's team at the Marshall Space Flight Center, while contractors like Boeing, North American Aviation, Douglas Aircraft, and IBM were selected for construction. This marked the evolution of the Saturn V, a groundbreaking rocket that would pave the way for human space exploration and the historic Apollo missions. During the early planning stages, NASA evaluated three approaches for the Moon mission, Earth Orbit Rendezvous, Direct Ascent, and Lunar Orbit Rendezvous. Direct Ascent required a massive rocket to land a spacecraft on the Moon directly. EOR involved launching components separately into Earth orbit. LOR, initially deemed riskier due to a lack of space rendezvous experience, was ultimately chosen. It featured a single rocket launching two spacecraft, a mothership and a smaller lunar module for landing, which would rendezvous in lunar orbit. After debates, LOR was endorsed by NASA officials, including John Hubolt and George Lowe, for its efficiency and cost-effectiveness. The decision to use LOR was confirmed on November 7, 1962. Arthur Rudolph directed the Saturn V rocket program, and the first successful launch occurred on November 9. 1967. Apollo 11 Saturn V launched on July 16, 1969, marking the historic moon landing. The Saturn V rocket was a colossal achievement in terms of size and payload capacity. It stood at 363 feet in height and 33 feet in diameter, dwarfing previous rockets. It weighed 6.5 million pounds when fully fueled, with a payload capacity initially estimated at 261,000 pounds to low Earth orbit and at least 90,000 pounds to the Moon. Upgrades later increased its lunar payload capacity to 95,901 pounds. The Saturn V consisted of three stages, the S-1C first stage, S-2 second stage, and S-4B third stage, along with the instrument unit. It utilized liquid oxygen as an oxidizer and liquid hydrogen for fuel. The F-1 and J-2 rocket engines provided propulsion. The first stage, S-1C, was built by Boeing and powered by five F-1 engines. The second stage, S-2, designed by North American Aviation, had five J-2 engines. The third stage, S-4B, was built by Douglas Aircraft Company and featured one J-2 engine. The S-4B stage played a significant role in lunar missions, with the capability to fire twice for Earth orbit insertion and translunar injection. The Saturn V's innovative design and powerful propulsion systems made it an iconic symbol of human space exploration, allowing humanity to achieve historic milestones and set foot on the moon. The Saturn V's instrument unit, constructed by IBM, was positioned atop the third stage. It was based at the Space Systems Center in Huntsville, Alabama, and played a critical role in controlling the rocket's operations from liftoff until the third stage was jettisoned. This computerized unit managed guidance and telemetry systems, enabling precise positioning, velocity calculations, and trajectory corrections. Assembly of the Saturn V involved transporting each stage to the Kennedy Space Center after construction and ground testing. Due to their massive size, the first two stages were transported by barge. The S-1C stage, constructed in New Orleans, traveled down the Mississippi River to the Gulf of Mexico. The S-2 stage, produced in California, was transported via the Panama Canal route. The S-4B stage and instrument unit were transported using the Aerospace Line's pregnant guppy and super guppy planes or by barge. The mobile launcher was used to assemble the Saturn V. 
This involved stacking the stages and components, with the entire stack moved from the vehicle assembly building to the launch pad using the crawler transporter. The crawler transporter kept the rocket level during its three-mile journey to the launch site, utilizing double-track treads and carrying the mobile service structure. The Saturn V project incurred a total cost of 6.417 billion U.S. dollars between 1964 and 1973. Financial factors, including the significant investment in the Saturn V and escalating costs of the Vietnam War, led to the cancellation of the last three Apollo missions. The launch sequence for Apollo lunar missions involved launching from Launch Complex 39 at the Kennedy Space Center, with control transferred to Mission Control in Houston after liftoff. The Saturn V experienced only a short time of active flight, with onboard computers compensating for engine failures and ensuring the mission's success. In terms of safety, the range safety officer could remotely shut down engines and trigger explosive charges attached to the rocket's exterior in case of an abort. These actions aimed to minimize risk to the crew and surroundings. The Saturn V startup sequence saw the ignition of engines in a carefully orchestrated process, ensuring a safe liftoff. The rocket reached high speeds and altitudes during its ascent, breaking the sound barrier and forming shock collars or condensation clouds at specific points in the flight. As the Saturn V continued its ascent, several key events occurred during the flight sequence. Around 80 seconds after liftoff, the rocket experienced maximum dynamic pressure, which is the point of maximum stress on the vehicle due to air resistance. The rocket's acceleration increased as its mass decreased due to propellant consumption. The launch acceleration was initially 1 and 1 quarter g, gradually increasing to almost 4 g at t plus 135 seconds. The first stage separation occurred after the inboard, center, engine was shut down to prevent acceleration from exceeding 4G. Eight solid fuel separation motors backed the S1C stage away from the rest of the rocket at an altitude of about 42 miles, 67 kilometers. The S1C continued its ballistic trajectory and impacted the Atlantic Ocean about 350 miles, 560 kilometers, downrange. After S1C separation, the S2 second stage ignited its five J2 engines, and the rocket reached an altitude of 109 miles, 175 kilometers, and a speed of 15,647 miles per hour, 25,181 kilometers per hour, close to orbital velocity. The interstage ring between the S2 and SIVB stages separated, and the launch escape system was jettisoned. The rocket switched to closed-loop guidance mode, where the instrument unit computed a real-time trajectory. The center engine shut down around 90 seconds before S2 cut off to reduce pogo oscillations. The S2 separated and the S4B stage ignited. The S4B stage followed a trajectory that used relatively little fuel to reach low Earth orbit due to the S2 contributions. During Apollo 11, the S-4B stage burned for about 2.5 minutes, achieving a parking orbit. It remained attached to the spacecraft as they orbited the Earth while preparing for translunar injection. Translunar injection occurred approximately 2 hours and 44 minutes after launch for Apollo 11. The S-4B burned for nearly 6 minutes, propelling the spacecraft to a velocity close to Earth's escape velocity. After TLI, the CSM separated from the S-4B, turned 180 degrees, and docked with the lunar module that had been carried beneath the CSM during launch. The combined spacecraft then separated from the S-4B in a maneuver known as transposition, docking, and extraction. The S-4B's remaining propellants were vented, and the auxiliary propulsion system was used to move it away from the trajectory. The S-4B was directed either towards a solar orbit or the moon's surface, depending on the mission. The Saturn V was repurposed for the Skylab program, which involved launching a space station into orbit using surplus Saturn 1B second stages. The S2 stage acted as the terminal stage for inserting Skylab into Earth orbit. Skylab was inhabited by three crews from May 25, 1973, to February 8, 1974. The S2 stage remained in orbit for almost two years before an uncontrolled re-entry. After the Apollo program, the Saturn V had several proposed successors and variations, some of which were considered but ultimately canceled due to cost or changing priorities. 
the Saturn V was planned to be the launch vehicle for the robotic rover Prospector, intended for the moon. It was similar to the Soviet Lunokhod rovers and the Voyager Mars probes. However, this plan was cancelled, along with other proposed uses of the Saturn V, due to cost considerations. A second production run of Saturn Vs was proposed, which would have used the more powerful F-1A engine in the first stage, providing improved performance. Other changes would have included removing the fins, stretching the S-1C stage to accommodate the F-1S, and upgrading upper stage engines. However, this plan was also cancelled due to cost. Various alternate Saturn vehicles were proposed, including the Saturn INT-20, Saturn V-23, and others with modifications to enhance performance and capabilities. These ideas were not realized due to the lack of a second Saturn V production run. U.S. proposals for a larger rocket than the Saturn V were called NOVA. Over 30 NOVA designs were considered, but none were developed. As part of the Constellation program, NASA proposed the Ares I and Ares V rockets. The Ares V was intended for heavy lift missions and was initially designed to be 360 feet tall, powered by RS 25 engines and Space Shuttle solid rocket boosters. Designs evolved to include six RS 68 engines, but the Ares program was cancelled. After the Constellation program's cancellation, NASA introduced the Space Launch System for Beyond Low Earth Orbit Exploration. It features four RS-25 engines and SRBs, with configurations for different payload capacities. The SLS Block 1 variant can carry approximately 209,000 pounds to low Earth orbit, while the Block 1B and Block 2 variants will have increased payload capacities. There were proposals for advanced boosters for the SLS, including a variant that would use a derivative of the Saturn V's F-1 engine, called F-1B. These boosters would increase payload capacity to around 330,000 pounds to LEO. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the incredible Saturn V rocket, a monumental achievement in human space exploration. From its towering presence on the launch pad to its awe-inspiring journeys to the moon, the Saturn V remains a symbol of human ingenuity, determination, and the boundless possibilities of science and engineering. As we've delved into its remarkable history, intricate design, and the missions it propelled, we've gained a deeper appreciation for the collaborative efforts that brought this engineering marvel to life. From the genius minds behind its creation to the dedicated individuals who worked tirelessly to ensure its success, the Saturn V represents the culmination of human curiosity and ambition. Although the Saturn V era has passed, its legacy continues to inspire us today. The lessons learned from this iconic rocket continue to shape the way we approach space exploration, from the technologies we develop to the dreams we dare to dream. As we look to the future and the exciting possibilities it holds, let's remember the Saturn V as a testament to what we can achieve when we set our sights on the stars. If you've enjoyed this journey through the Saturn V's history, design, and missions, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating insights into the wonders of science and technology. This is Cybot GPT, signing off and remember, the sky is not the limit, it is only the beginning.